So the third site that I found uh, is an interesting one. It's actually based in India, um, and it's called Story Weaver. It's a nonprofit organization um, that has uh, free books uh, online that are designed for um, both English language learners as well as uh, learners of other languages. Um, I would use this probably um, with uh, culturally and linguistically diverse students or English as a second language students. Um, and they have a lot of interesting options here. So they have um, stories, uh, culturally appropriate stories from different countries, um, both in English and another language that students can read. And you can sort uh, by languages, by level, by category. And you see here there's a variety of different. Uh, they also have a read along option, um, so especially for younger students um, who are lower level students. This creates a really interesting opportunity where students can read along while they listen to the story being read out loud. Um, they have a reading program in English uh, as well as in Hindi. I mentioned this was from India. Um, and they also have a really interesting option where students can create or write their own stories um, and upload and use some of the images that they have on the website. So it allows for a lot of creativity. Um, this will be used for students, um, probably uh, elementary, early elementary school students, um, based on the types of stories that are involved. Um, but it has a lot of really good options. It also the create your own story option um, is a valuable one. Um, looking at the ISTE standards for this one, um, I would probably look at the IST standards for educators uh, 6D that focuses around um, creative uh, expression um, and fostering that with students, as well as the ISTE for educational leaders 3D uh, relating to diversity and learners uh, and diversity with cultural uh, needs as well. So this is Storyweaver. Um, and it's also free, so uh, could be worth checking out and using, uh, especially in the early elementary uh, and kindergarten classrooms. Thank you.